You guys, something is wrong. I'm gonna need your help. She's really sick. We gotta get her to the hospital. Come on, here, bring her in here. Put her on the couch. What? Jesus. What is it? What's Jesus. wrong, sweetie? Where, where does it hurt? It's, it's my stomach. Okay. And, and my head, I feel so dizzy. Dizzy and nauseous. Okay, okay. Uh, would you, honey, get her a, a damp washcloth and the, and the thermometer from upstairs and the thing? Here, come here, sweetie. You poor thing. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You're, re you're gonna be okay. I promise you, you're gonna be just fine. This is my fault. I should have listened to you. I should have never made you go home. All right, look, the cops are upstairs. Now they're gonna protect Michelle and they're gonna find Daniel, right? Nothing bad yeah, is gonna happen to anyone. Too. They were probably together when he found them. They were look, probably... don't know that. You don't know Danny. You don't know his family. You don't know what these people are capable of Please doing. Stop that. Me. Yes, I do know that, all right? I haven't exactly led a sheltered life here, okay? Now, I've met guys like Danny and Mix throughout the years, and believe me, they're not as tough as they like everybody to think they are, all right? Why? Why didn't you just tell me the truth in the beginning, Michelle? <laughs> Jesse did not kill Mick. You did. And now there's only one way to finish this. Oh, my God! Danny, you're actually going to kill me? Now, shut up! <laughs> come on, come with me. I didn't mean to. Game is over, Michelle. <laughs> Please don't make this any harder for me than it already is. seems to have everything under control in the house, but why did you want to come back here? You know, we should have waited at police headquarters until Frank got back to see what he found at Allen's. Because I'll bet Terry's got him off on some wild goose chase. No, I didn't want to waste any more time. I want to get to the bottom of what happened. I, I just have a feeling that it all began here, in this place. I just, I, I can feel something, something about being here, and I just can't quite put my finger on it. I... Something about Terry? Yes. Yes, on, on Halloween. Uh, yeah, I, I, I remember, but you, what about when Halloween? When you came out here, Terry and I had been here already. We were talking. Yeah, I remember right? that. She said that she, it was about Frank. Yeah. And you would put his hands on me, on my body. I'll talk to him. No, no, I, I can handle it. I just, I just, I just wanted to know that I could talk to him. That's right. And I remember saying that, that it didn't sound like Frank. I told Terry the same thing. And I'm beginning to remember some other things, too. Like I, what? I, I, don't, I don't know well, exactly. Think, I just... Joshua, try to remember what happened next. I don't know if I can. Sit down, Josh. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down, Josh. Sit down. Did you remember something? Yes. I couldn't leave. Once Terry got here, I couldn't leave. Why not? Because she wouldn't let me. Terry wouldn't let me leave. Oh, good night, you darlings. We'll make it up. Well, Frank, I hope you're happy. There's nothing like a little police raid to quell a party. I'm sorry, Alex. It's official business. Oh, really? I mean, your people are such drama junkies on a good day. I mean, Frank, honestly, Whatever this matter is about, couldn't it have been handled in the morning? I'm afraid not. It's common knowledge that the Spaldings have bad blood with the Lewises. This is common knowledge because the Lewises are so common, I just Frank. want to know how deep the animosity oh, goes. Please, I hope this isn't about the Triple Z land deal that again. That might be a part of it. Oh. Josh Lewis loses some land. The company stock takes a nosedive. Ergo, the Spaldings are somehow responsible for that? No, no, the truth is Josh Lewis was asleep at the wheel, not attending to business. Just for the record, Mr. Spaulding, Mr. Lewis has had other problems. No, oh, yes, yes, we know all about Reba. This is serious, Mrs. Spaulding. Apparently, Josh had been drugged for weeks by an experimental pharmaceutical that was stolen from police headquarters. Well, and what? We're responsible? I mean, this is the, the most lame excuse to come plundering It's not you, in... Alex. Right now, we're interested in your brother. Now, 
let, let me try to understand this. I somehow broke into the police department, stole a substance that I didn't even know existed, drug Josh Lewis, who then botches a business deal. Does that about cover it? I think the next thing they're gonna charge me with is being the nursery rhyme stalker. You can save your sarcasm. I'm here just to ask you some questions. Well, the answer to your question is no, this is ludicrous. Look, come on, I agree. I mean, my brother may be a lot of things, but a kleptomaniac is not one of them. Thank you, Alex. Family devotion is very admirable, but we are here for another reason. I don't know anything about any missing drug. Now, if you don't want to take my word for it, why don't you just go ahead and search the place? Well, unfortunately, huh? we don't have a search warrant right well, now. Well, I don't think we need to bother a judge at this hour of the evening. Why don't you just be my guest and embarrass yourself and the department? Oh, I, uh, Day, Alan, please. I know you're upset, darling, but I really don't want these people rifling through our airlines. No, 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 no. Frank broke in here. He destroyed our party. The least he can do is uh, provide us with a little entertainment. So, let's play a little game. You broke it, you bought it, okay? Let's go up to the bookshelf. Come on up here. Let's look at these books here. I'm sure you can find some, find some drugs behind here somewhere, maybe in the nooks and crannies or, or look up here. Here's some, here's some, uh, here's some cushions on the sofa. You can unzip this and slip the vial right in there. Maybe you want to try my study, the desk, Frank. There's a lot of wonderful room in there for drugs. Go ahead, help yourself. You know, maybe you want to go upstairs, huh? Check, check my bedroom. Check Alex's bedroom. Sorry, Alex. Come on, let's look over here. It was between you and me. See anything? I chose me. Joshua, it's Halloween night. You're out here with Terry, and she wouldn't let you leave. That's right. Well, I don't know what you mean by that. Uh, how could she stop you? I don't know. I just... I, I wanted to go, but I, but I couldn't go because she didn't want me to, and then someone else... It, someone else? Someone else. There was someone else out here with you? I think so. Well, who, Joshua? Who was it? Thank you for taking him to swap off. I, I, uh, tell him I'll pick him up first thing in the morning, okay? Hmm. Oh, I'm great. Really, I live better every day, you know? Time and all that. No, I just, I didn't want the boys to see this. It's, I'm getting her stuff together. Uh, her clothes, I'm gonna uh, donate them to the women's shelter downtown. Yeah, I think she'd like that. Same to you. Thank you. It is. Oh, God, I forgot. <sighs> well, happy New Year to you, Mrs. B. For you. Those weren't fireworks, those were gems, jewels, emeralds, sapphires, rubies thrown up in the sky of black velvet. Just for you. I mean, I would have written your name in diamonds if I could. Mm -hmm. But you can't, can you? You. My fireworks. I promise. 
worried as I am, I can just help. No, I'm concerned because you're so upset. No, you were just trying to say and do the right thing so that I don't freak out, okay? But we both know what the truth is. And the truth is I gave up as Michelle as Mick's killer. And his brother wants revenge, and now Jesse and Michelle are gonna be murdered in cold blood. No, stop talking like that! I mean it, Drew. This is not a gangster movie. There are no blazing machine guns. There are no cement boots. The police are going to find Danny before he can hurt Michelle or Jesse. What world are you living in? You don't have a clue how bad this is, Selena. You don't know. Well, then why don't you fill me in, all right? Tell me what happened. Tell me how you know that Michelle Bauer was involved with Mick's death. That doesn't matter. Well, it certainly does matter if you think that Jesse and Michelle's lives are in danger. Now, look, I want to help you. I want to do everything I can, but you have to level with me. You have to tell me now. How do you know about Mick's death? I know, I know, because I was there, okay? What do you mean? What do you mean you were there? What, you saw it happen? What? I didn't see it. I was part of it. Oh, God. Mick was a Michelle and I picked up a rock and I hit him. I tried to make him stop and he came after me. And then she picked up a rock and she hit him and he fell. And we didn't know he was dead, but he died, okay? It was me and Michelle. Michelle and I killed Mick Santos. Smart girl, Michelle! Why don't you guess why I brought you here? Oh my god, you're gonna kill me when you feel this! Why you killed your brother and son of those sick police Stop. justice for you? I want you to tell me exactly what happened that night. I want to hear from you out of your mouth, in your own words. I want you to tell me how you killed my brother. I can! Yes, you can. can. You can, Michelle. You will. I told you it was awful. I can't. Show me, show me, show me what you did. You show me the exact spot. Show me how you took my brother's life. Okay, there's no fever. She doesn't have a temperature. No, I didn't think so. She doesn't even feel warm. I, I still feel so dizzy. Um, the room is going up and down like I'm on a roller coaster. I'm so scared. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna pass out. Okay, 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 okay. Calm down. Don't be scared. Just close your eyes, sweetie. Close your eyes and and try to try to not think about how bad you feel. Okay. Yeah. Gonna be okay. We'll Susan. be right back, sweetie. You're, you're really good with her. No, I'm not. I just I kind of remember that feeling she's talking about. Well, what do you think it is? Oh, uh, does she have allergies or, no. or asthma None or something? That, no. Her breathing is really shallow, don't you think? Yeah, that's what worries me. Hey. Hey, where'd you go? Check something upstairs. I think I know why Susan is sick. Why? I found this in the medicine cabinet. I don't get it. Oh, my gosh. This thing was full. I mean, I had, what, a few tablespoons when I was sick? I haven't had any. Susan. Susan, did you take any of this? How can you ask me a thing like that? Susan, I need you to answer me. Did you take any of this cough syrup, yes or no? <laughs> this is important. Honey, listen to me. This is dangerous stuff. This isn't over-the-counter cough medicine. This has a narcotic in it. Susan, come on. <laughs> Let's tell the truth now. I, I, I didn't know it was dangerous, I swear. Oh, I'm really gosh. sorry. She, she took the whole thing. We have to get her off the couch. We gotta get her to the hospital right away. This folks falling on one page. Rick, Great. Tell, tell Rick that I'm coming in. I'll bring somebody into the emergency room. She'll be there in about 10 minutes. Okay, great. If you saw Annie here on Halloween, that was after that boat exploded, which means she's alive. That's right. Oh, my God. We were right. We've been right all along. Annie and Terry, they were here together. That's what you remember. I don't know exactly what I remember, but I do know that Annie was in this room. I distinctly remember seeing her face in this well, room. What did she say? I don't know. Think, I Joshua, just, come I on. This is important. I don't know. Damn it. It's just not clear. I don't know why I can't re remember anything. Because you were being drugged. Annie and Terry were drugging you, but, sweetie, you will remember. You will. You're going to remember everything. You're going to remember everything they said and everything they did to you. And I'll tell you something else. We're going to find out that Terry's been involved with Annie on this from the start. And now she's trying to cover her tracks by blaming everything on Alan. Only we're not going to let her get away with it. We're going to put together all the pieces of Annie's horrible plan, and when we do, we're going to make both of them pay for what they've done to you. Come on. Well, Frankie, I 
checked every inch of the upstairs. There's nothing there. Why am I not surprised? It's doing our job, Alan. Well, shouldn't your job be about finished, Frank? What's the combination in the safe? Oh. Frank, that is none of your business. Then fine, I'll just get a search warrant. Why don't you just save us some time? You have searched this house from top to bottom, and the only thing you've been able to come up with is a little dust. Which that criminal Nettie will answer to in the morning. Now, I suggest that you both leave the same way you got here, empty-handed. Oh, uh, Alan, hold on, hold on. If they don't do it now, they'll just come back with a search warrant. And I want any suspicion the police have to be squelched this instant. As ridiculous as this whole thing is, I'm going to open up every single safe in this house. They've already it. gone too far, Alex. No, Alan, you were right to begin with. We have nothing to hide. Now let them do whatever they have to do so they will go away. Honestly. What did I tell Buzz? How really rude you've been. That's fine, Alex. My father knows what your brother's capable of. Bear, search away. This is so ridiculous, Alan, Alex. Alan, just calm down. It'll be over with before you know it. Well, look at this, partner. Well, Alan, I can see now why you didn't want us to open your safe. Here as fast as we she could. Is so pale. Here, sir. She drank this entire bottle. Yes. Get her in the cubicle right now. Stat. We're on our way. We're gonna be okay. Yeah. I'll be right in. Okay. Set her up. How long ago did she take this? About an, an, an hour, hour or something like an hour, an hour ago. Yeah. She was dizzy and and she was nauseous at first, and then we thought she was gonna get sick. She kept nodding off in the car. So that's not uncommon for somebody's overdose. I'm gonna get her stabilized. I'll be right off the top. Okay. Dr. Bauer. Yeah. I'd like to be with my daughter. Come on in. Who knows how far gone she'd be by now. She's, I mean, she's so. She's gonna be okay. She's gonna be just fine. All right? She is not the first kid who has gone too far trying to get her own way. I know. I know. God, this is something I would have done when I was her age. Mm -hmm. I believe that. And you made it. She will too. She has to. Why don't you get in there with your daughter? Organized crime family. To catch him, we're going to need to know everything that you know. Right. Okay. Well, essentially, we've told you everything. Sure. One more second. Let me talk to him. We've told you everything we know. Um, we were being as cooperative as possible. I mean, one minute the kids were there, now they're not. And uh, this is basically all we know. We just hope we can find them as soon as you can. Okay, well, call me at the headquarters if you think of anything. Absolutely. We promise. Yes, sir. to me. Oh, Stop it. Jesse, first things first, okay? Now look, I will stick by you. I will do anything I can to help you. But you have to listen to me. You have to do as I say now. What's going on? Why are you sticking your neck out for me? You have a rap sheet. You, you've done time. If, if they catch you helping me, you'll go to prison. Got a hard goal. No. No, it's more than that. You've been acting weird for weeks. Too much holiday cheer. No, you level with me. I want to know what it is about me that gets to you so much. I thought he was going to rape me. No, 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 no. Back up. Back up. You just tell me from the beginning. Start at the beginning. I want to know everything. I came here. Alone? Alone or with someone? Huh? I was alone. I thought I was, and then Mick showed up, and I... <laughs> I knew someone was doing it. I needed an answer. He just grabbed me. He 
could let go. God, he looked at me like I was nothing. Like he could do whatever he wanted to and then throw me away. I was scared for my life, Danny. God, what was I supposed to do? I, I kicked him and he wouldn't let go and I kicked him again and then he, he stripped and I, I saw him coming after me again and I picked up a rug and I hit him. I'm sorry. I hit him, okay? Wow. You know, until now, I didn't really believe you. I wasn't sure it was you, but you did a good job, Michelle. You did a good job. You convinced me. You did. You convinced me. But unfortunately... Oh, unfortunately, your confession isn't really in your best interest. I've given Susan something to uh, clean out her system. She's mm -hmm. going to be fine. What a relief. Oh, thank God. Why would she take a bottle of cough syrup in the first place? Well, um, she, she didn't do it, she didn't do to, it get to get high. high or anything like that. <laughs> she did it to get sick. Why would she do something like that? Uh, Susan's become very attached to Harley, and it seems that... She'd rather stay here with her than go back home to St. Louis with me, so... Well, she picked a very dangerous way of making her point. All right, in any event, I'm going to keep her overnight for observation. Okay. 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 Susan, can I check out the chart, please? I'll have some papers for you to sign. Okay, oh. absolutely. Hey, so? she's going to be okay. Huh. They have to keep her overnight hey. for observation, hey. but hey. she's going to be okay. okay. <laughs> you know, Harley, I... I really don't know what to say. I mean, I, I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't been there. Oh. I'm sure you would have done just fine. You know, I, I just can't believe that my daughter would go to such extremes to stay here. Uh, I think she's been pretty vocal about what she wants. Yeah, she has, hasn't she? I just guess I haven't been, been taking her seriously enough. You know, my only fear now is that I'm going to take her home and then she's going to find some way to get back here again. Excuse me, let me do that. Yeah. 
You okay? Yeah, I'm holding fine. I mean, other than the fact that this entire thing is my fault. Your fine. fault? Honey, what are you talking about? This is not your fault. Susan did this, not you. She's a kid. She's, you know, she's acting out, trying to get attention and have her own way. How are you responsible for that? I am responsible because she is a scared and lonely child who feels like she's losing her mother again. She needs me. She does. And I've known that since the second she showed up on our doorstep. And I haven't been there for her. Not at all. I mean, I should have seen this coming. And what I am responsible for is that I should never have told her that she had to leave. Honey, that's not your decision to make. She doesn't belong to you anymore. She's Jim's. They live in St. Louis. No, I know that. Yeah, but? Well, I... Why can't she just stay another week like she wants? Just one week until she feels better, that's all. We've already done this. We've already extended her stay more than once. Don't you see what she's doing? She's being manipulative. I know that's what you think, but I don't care. I don't care why she's doing it. That's what I care about, why she's doing it. Because she's lonely and scared, and I am her birth mother, and I need to help her. Please understand that. Honey, Please. I do, I do. It may not seem like it, but I really do, more than you think. But I'm telling you right now, if you give in this time, this is never going to end. Well... What? Would that be so bad? Frank, I'm telling you, I do not know how that vial got into my safe. Really? I did not put it there. Then who did? You tell me. You're the detective. Last time I saw this drug vial was at police headquarters. I don't know how the hell you got your hands on it, but I'm going to find out. We can save you that trouble, Frank, because we figured everything out. Your culprit is standing right over there. We were right. Your partner's been working with Annie all along. Oh, please, not this again, Frank. This oh, is just yes, getting this ridiculous. and more. I remember seeing you and Annie on Halloween. Oh, excuse me? Uh, I thought you said you were getting better, Josh. He is getting better, unfortunately, for you. You see, he remembers seeing Annie's face. And that was days after that boat blew up. So if Frank found that vial in Alan's safe, either one or both of you planted it there to set him up. Then Annie really is alive. Yes, she is. That's what I've been saying all along, that you want to find her, Alan. I suggest you start by grilling Detective DeMarco. I'd be happy to throw in the charcoal and the lighter fluid. Not Annie's partner in crime. Yes, you are. Just admit it. O or what, Josh? You'll attack me again? I am not having a brawl in my living room. Alex is right. This isn't getting us anywhere. Not if you're too blind to see the truth. Alan, I'm calling our lawyers this very minute. They will get us out of this inquisition. Too sweet! If you'll excuse us, we are oh. here on official police business. I'm gonna ask you to leave. Now, actually, let them talk. They are disrupting this investigation, Frank. That's, it's not right. We just found a drug vial in Alan's safe that was used to tr drug Josh Lewis, all right? There's a connection. I'd like to hear what she has to say. Thanks, Frank, even though I don't know what more there is to hear. But you see, slowly and surely, Josh is starting to remember things. He remembered what happened at our place on Halloween. He knows enough now to sink both Annie and Terry, and I, for one, can't wait to see him drown like the rats they are. Well, gee, Riva, if Josh is remembering everything about Halloween, does he remember all the scary things that happened? Like kidnapping me and ripping my shirt at if the If that lighthouse? really did happen, it was because of that drug. Oh, that's absurd. Almost as ridiculous as, as me being involved in a conspiracy with a dead woman. Except for the fact that Annie is not dead. Frank and I can assure you she most certainly is. That's because Annie wants you to think that. I mean, what a perfect way to divert suspicion away from yourself by making everyone believe that you're a goner. Oh God, she's beyond reason. You no, I'm not the one beyond I'm... reason here. Annie is. Faking her own death is, is child's play for a psycho like that. And why or how you're involved in all this is beyond me, but I'm going to find out. Josh, do you remember anything about Halloween? I mean, did you, did you really speak to Annie? Do you no, remember that? I, I don't... I'm not sure, Frank. I just know that I saw her face in that room. Oh, come on, you gotta give me more than that. No, he can't Frank, give I... you more than that right now, Frank. It should be enough. And don't ignore this. I'm not gonna ignore anything, Reva. And your sister's right, Alan. You better find a good attorney. You're gonna need one. This is ludicrous, I Frank. I can't agree more. Alan is not the one who is guilty here. I just found a stolen drug vial in your safe. 
that was used to drug a business rival of yours. And I'm I wonder telling how you, it got in there. I have no idea how that vial got in my safe. Then you better have one. Partner, I need to speak to you in private, please. be a fool. You have to see this for what it is. What is it, Reva? Annie is trying to get back at you for not marrying her. And now she's got Terry to help make that happen. And if you don't believe us, then ask Frank how your pal Terry gave you up to the police not less than an hour ago. take your mother's place or your father's for that matter but i just thought that you might need somebody older more experienced to watch out for you now you're right i miss my parents but i've always handled myself yeah right up until now i'm sure but you're in deep trouble now and you need me so now you need to listen to me okay i want you to go and get your bag keep your mouth shut and come back down because you're coming with me come on hurry up all right protect my daughter, whether she likes it or not. This is a stupid idea going with you. I got a place upstairs I could stay in. Well, forget it. Look, Danny Santos is out there looking for someone to blame for his brother's murder. His next stop is here. He's going to be looking for you. Danny has no clue I had anything to do with what went down on that beach, Selena. Would you wake up? found Michelle and Jesse, but if he has, I guarantee you he's gonna try to make Michelle tell him the truth about what happened to his brother, and when he finds out that you were involved in his brother's death, he's gonna come after you. No, Michelle would protect me. She would never say my name in any of this. Oh, honey, listen to me. Now, Michelle's a nice girl, all right? I'm not saying that she's not, but when someone's life is in danger, they're gonna say or do anything they can to save themselves. Come on, come on with me. Okay, you know, I don't... You know, I don't, I don't buy something, Michelle. I don't buy that you were here alone. Who was with you, huh? With Jesse? No! Was Jesse, Jesse here? Nothing to do with anything. Come on, Michelle, come on! <laughs> My brother was a big guy. He was twice the size of you. There's no way. I don't believe no, you. I can tell you what you want to hear. I can tell you the truth. What do you want? I want the truth. Get out of here. I want the truth. I was alone. I was alone. And I hit him in the right spot. I didn't mean to kill him. I didn't mean to kill him. I didn't. I swear. Come okay. on, please. Okay. Shh. Look, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. I know what kind of guy my brother was. I loved him, but he had a lot of problems. Was drinking and, and drugs and gambling. Listen, the way you told me what happened... It sounds right. It makes sense. 
I believe that you didn't mean to do it. You believe me? You understand? You get it? You understand? Don't, 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 now don't, don't ask me to understand. Don't ask me to tell you that it was okay, Michelle. He was my brother. He was my family. He was my family. And you killed him. Get over it. Come on. No, get over there. I'm sorry, Daddy. I never meant for this to happen. Honest. Honest. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay. We'll talk about it later. Right now, you just relax and get better, okay, honey? Thanks. Daddy. What, babe? It's just that I like Harley so much, you know? I know you do. So do I. Listen, I'm, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with you wanting to have more of a relationship with Susan. There isn't. But right now, if you if you care about her as much as I believe you do, what you're going to do is give her a chance to reconnect with her father. <laughs> you mean to send Daisy away? That's no, what no, no, no. I mean, let Susan go home with her father. Okay. I hear what you're saying. And it all makes perfect sense but, to me. But I'm a mother. I'm her first mother, her first mother, now her only mother. Mm -hmm. She's reaching out to me, and I'm Harley? Not. Harley, excuse me, uh, Susan's calling for you. Coming. I'm not going to turn away from her another time. I'm sorry. I want my daughter to come home with us. There's no love lost between us, but we do go way back. And I'm telling you that Terry is as far from being your friend as she can be. You need to call police headquarters, see how the chief wants to handle this one. Have you called your attorney yet? No, no, but when I do, Frank, what should I tell him I'm being charged with? That's up for him to decide. When I know, you'll know. <laughs> Fine. You go make your call, because I'm going to have a few words with Detective DeMarco. Frank, wait. What now, Reva? Don't let Terry get away with this. She planted that vial in Alan's safe to divert suspicion away from her. First of all, I don't believe that Annie's alive. Second of all, I certainly don't believe that Annie's Why in cahoots so with Terry to get to him believe? back. Why, Frank? Is every word out of Terry DeMarco's mouth the truth? As far as I know. Really? So then you did make serious advances on her during Halloween? Enough so that she had to go to Josh and tell him how scared she was about you and your advances. She said that? Yes, she did, Frank. If she would lie about that, she would lie about a whole lot of other things. Let me just guess what Josh and Reva told you. First, I'm sure they accuse me of turning you in, right? Some sort of setup for me to cover my tracks? Well, let me explain to you. No, you, actually, you listen to me, Terry. The only people who knew the combination besides Alex and, and Philip was Annie. Now, the only way that evidence got to my safe from the police department is that Annie put it there or you put it there. Annie is dead. And I am not finished. I don't care if you set me up. I don't care if I'm charged with this crime. The only thing that I care about is Annie. You are not leaving this house until you tell me where she is. Go, go, get out of here before the police find you. Go! Oh, no, I get it! You. If you kill oh. me, the cops will know it was you! Get out of here! Don't do it! Don't be stupid, Daddy. Come on! Come on, go! Don't worry, Michelle! I'm never stupid! <laughs> But if I don't take care of you, someone else will. Come on. <laughs> 